Hey, YouTube, how's it going? This is uh, Gamester81. Uh, before I get going on this review, I just wanted a huge, huge thank you to Pete Door for his uh, major shout out uh, to my channel. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I do take requests, although I've got a long laundry list of requests I need to take care of first, so be patient with that. Uh, but uh, let's check out the system. It's an interesting system. Uh, probably one of the worst systems ever made, to be quite honest with you, but it has a very important piece of, of gaming history. And uh, if it weren't for systems like this, uh, games today would be uh, a little bit different. Um, so let's take a closer look at this uh, the system made by RCA. So here it is, this is the RCA Studio 2. Um, now if this game, this system looks vintage, uh, man, let me tell you, it's, it's as vintage as you can get. Uh, it came out in 19, early 1977, just right before the Atari released their mega smash hit, the Atari 2600, and about the same time as the Fairchild released their uh, Channel F, which I did a review on earlier. So this was tied for one of the very first systems with interchangeable cartridges. Um, now, some people might argue, saying, you know, hey, the Magnavox Odyssey 1, uh, when it came out in 1972, had carts that you plug in, and there's different games. Well, that's kind of true to a point, but as I explained in my review for that system, they're, 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 they weren't necessarily m programmable carts. They're more or less just the same thing with, with they put breakers into the games, and, and it changed up a little bit. Um, this, these games are actually like programmable carts, which sets these apart a little bit different. Um, now, this system was a mega fell when it came out and one of the main, main reasons why it didn't do so hot if you look at it um, it looks just like a pong system right you've got your controls on the side here no remotes or anything like that which I always felt interest was interesting because you had the my Odyssey one came out in 1972 five years earlier that had those those uh, really cool controllers and after that they all went to pong and, and then they just kind of copied that and all the controls were on the side so if you want to play two-player which all these games are pretty much two-player um, uh, then you have to sit really close together. Um, you got your clear button, which is like a reset button here. The LCD light will light on when the power's on. You got two speakers right here. Sound actually comes out of the system, not the TV. Um, and this is where your carts would go. And uh, you now these little th rods right here, these are what the carts would look like. You can see these two little peg holes. And uh, th the name of the game would actually stick out like this. And then it would uh, snap in like that. Now one thing about the system, I mean, once you click in the game, it's you gotta pretty much hold down the system and pull out because these games are in here pretty tight. Uh, I've got a number of games. Um, these are the boxes that come in. You got blackjack, right? Um, you got tennis, squash, which is just like pong, pretty much. Um, th this system, when it came out, um, way obsolete. Um, it was all black and white. Um, now, unfortunately, I've been looking all day for my AC adapter and I can't find it. Um, and it's got a very unique AC adapter, so uh, I promise once I do find it, I'll show some gameplay footage of it. But I promised some, some um, YouTubers that they put in a request for it, and I wanted to show them the system. Also, what's interesting about this system is the way it hooks up to the TV. You get this box here, which without this box, you're unable to play the system. And it, if you guys are familiar with the 5200, the Atari 5200, same kind of deal. I don't understand the design. Um, this plugs in to the back of here, and it, which plugs into the box. And then you've got your, uh, you can switch between TV and Studio 2. And then this is where the uh, power plugs into, um, into the box. It doesn't plug into the system, which is a horrible, horrible design. I don't quite understand why they would do it. And what's even worse is Atari did the same thing with the 5200. Um, very, very lame. And then you've got, uh, you got this thing, which would plug into, um, which would plug into the, the TV. So um, that's that's interesting, but yeah, the system didn't last very long at all. And just like the '70s, one thing I understand about the '70s is if if you made electronics or any type of electronics, most likely that company dabbled into the the gaming industry, and that's one of the reasons why there was a huge video game crash in '83 because there's so many systems out there. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, here's a couple. Of okay, so um, before I wrap this video up, uh, I got a gamer tagged by uh, Deadman72579, uh, which is, if you guys don't know what a game tag is, it's where you're supposed to name your three favorite systems and, and 
favorite game for that system, and then I was supposed to tag three people. So uh, I wanted to respond, do a video response to him, uh, and then uh, with this video, kind of did two on, two in one combo kind of deal. Uh, well, I'm kind of interesting because my favorite systems list is a little different than the best systems list. Uh, but I'll start with my favorite systems. Um, number three has got to be the Turbo Graphics 16. Uh, very underrated system. Um, I love it. Um, great graphics for when it came out. Games are even hold up today. It's very fun. Uh, Splatterhouse is probably one of my favorites. Uh, I love Bonk Adventure. Um, you know, there's a lot of great games for that system. Um, so number two is uh, Super Nintendo. Um, awesome games. So many great games for that system. Uh, I'd have to say my favorite is probably Final Fantasy II. Um, awesome game. Uh, number one favorite system of all time is a Neo Geo AES. Um, just amazing system graphics to hold up today. Awesome. Um, favorite system or, or game or series for that system is probably Metal Slug. Uh, but there's so many great series for that. I mean, King of Fighters, you can just go on and on. Uh, three people I'm going to tag. Vintage, my buddy, Vintage Video Game Geek. Awesome guy. Check out his channel. Uh, really cool down earth guy. Uh, Chipsters, you've been tagged, man. Uh, I'd love to see a video from you. And Sinister Moon, uh, I'd love to see a video from you as well. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to be away for uh, a couple weeks. I'm going to PAX convention, which is up in Seattle, which if you guys aren't familiar with that, it's the Penny Arcade uh, convention, which is a huge video game expo, uh, which is coming up next weekend. I'm going to be at that. I'll do some video footage and, and post some stuff up, hopefully, uh, when I get back. So in the meantime, uh, Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.